Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. A very warm welcome from me. In the previous session, we prepared the admin section. We defined each section on it and in the form section, as you notice, we took necessary measures to upload the file to make sure the files have the right size and the type and that only those sizes and types which are allowed would be uploaded on the site. Now we are going to work with time and date. We want the date to be automatically added to our image or news when we submit the news and we are going to learn how to work with time and date so that we can use it in other projects all right the first step for working with the date the first step in working with date would be we need to import the necessary library to our project i import the date time library which is specifically used for setting the time and date and we say import daytime all right i have imported the daytime library now i go to the news ad let's make a few prints and work with the date to test and see how the date works it needs a little bit of tiddling then we will go and take care of the saving check the details and see them for instance i make a print and then dash as you see my line can be seen over here all right i add one more of these blanks dotted blanks so that i can add the codes i need and I can see and find them easily in the terminal. All right, so the first step is to add the library. The second step is to show the date. I say equals, now equals, daytime, daytime dot now. All right. And then we say, what else? But before doing anything, we take a print to see what's going on. We say print now, see how it works. And now I refresh the page to see all the new settings that, and their effects. And as you see, 2019, 10, 4, 23rd. And it shows me the general format of date and time now. I may want to apply my own format, my own special given format on the project and have my own special date and time format. And only I have hour and minute, I can do that. To do so, what I need to say, I say year equals now dot year. That's right, that will be the format for my daytime. For instance, it is the name of the variable. Months equals now dot months is the next thing which I write. Day equals day. That's all right. Now I say print. What should it print? Year, of course, and month and day. Those are the three parameters that need to be given to me. Let's check to see how it looks now. As you see, the date used to go general, and I was able to extract year, month, and day, and thus I can write over here, for instance, hour equals now dot hour. All right, that would be it. Now minute equals, let's see, now dot minute, that's right. And again, I need to add a print for them. I write print, that's right, which is going to show us the hour and minute. All right, I refresh. As you see, this is the overall 
daytime, year, and month, and they were printed separately. And now this is my hour. All right, I can change the arrangement the way I want to. That is to become familiar with the daytime library and see that you can extract each section that you need from the library. I am going to show you this. Now, let's go for other important details that we need to take into account. First of all, as you know, the Python uh, in Python, we are able to compare two strings. What does it mean? It means it can compare two dates and see which one is larger or how comes before the other in precedence. But the condition here is that the number of the string characters need to be equal in each string. But as you see here, 4, 10, 20, 19, 4 only has one digit, whereas on the other dates you may find 4 with a 0. If I want to compare it to uh, 10, 9, 20, 19, it will return the wrong answer. It is not a standard format. It should be 4 digits, 2 digits, and 2 digits with slashes in between. It must have eight digits overall with two slashes so that I will be able to compare the two days. That is why we edit this part. I hit Control Z. Here we change the year in the date that we want to make. All right. Uh, we extract year, month, and day, and then we set a condition. We set two conditions, it's better to say. We say if len, the str len of for instance date, yep, equal equal one as we had here. If the characters equal one, all right, what would happen? Let's see. We say day equals now a zero plus str a zero would be added to the number of the day and we add another if for month if len or the number of str month equal equal one this one as well Zero would be added to it. Zero plus str of month. That's right. Now, here I enter print like that. Print here. That's right. Month and day. Okay. Now, see the difference. I refresh my page. Now it is 04 2019. And now, as you see, all my numbers are equal in character. And so they can be compared to one another. As I said, they have the same number of digits. And so I will be able to compare the two days with no significant problem. And that's how we standardize the date so that we won't run into any problems while we compare them. Okay, that's it for this session.